This is trial number four. I hope somebody's out there. Uh, please let me know if you're out there, because it's said that I'm making this public, so. <sighs> Who knows? It's been one of those weeks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Robert, for watching. Man, I'll, I'll tell you, this is crazy. I started the darn thing, and then I realized I hadn't turned the screen around, so everything was backwards. Then I tried to restart it, and it said it didn't start. So let's try this. This is take four of One Take Tuesday, and it's been, uh, th I think, three weeks or more since I've been up here uh, playing for you all. So thanks for showing up or watching it later, however that works. So this song is going to be on a new album. I wrote it for my wife back in 1999. It was on a flight coming back from Europe after being on tour over there for a couple, three weeks. Thought I'd get some uh, sleep on the plane, but it was uh, one of your typical flights that you have nightmares about. So it's called In Flight Movie. Pigs and crazies on an overnight flight I really doubt that I'll get any sleep tonight Screaming babies, what'll I do? I'll just sit here and write a song for you I've already seen the in-flight movie Polished off three bottles of little wine the in-flight dinner made me nauseous I only feel better when I realize you're mine You know the red eye just don't cut it no more It takes me too long to get back to your door I'll have a drink or two and daydream of you I just don't know what else there is to do I've already seen the in-flight movie Polished off three bottles of little wine The in-flight dinner made me nauseous I only feel better when I realize you're mine Delta TWA Getting across the ocean There must be a better way You know it's a living Writing and singing these songs As long as you're there waiting for me I know I can't go wrong I've already seen the in-flight movie Polished off three bottles of little wine The in-flight dinner made me nauseous I only feel better when I realize you're mine Yes, I've already seen the in-flight movie Polished off three bottles of little wine The in-flight dinner made me nauseous And I only feel better when I realize you're mine I only feel better when I realize you're mine In-flight movie I don't know Hope y'all are doing well It rained like a Something that rains really hard last night And today So uh the bad thing was I was working in the studio to get some stuff done. Fortunately, I wasn't doing any vocals. I was just doing some mixes and listen backs and the power kept going off. I'm guessing Bach and Beethoven didn't have that kind of issues when they were writing. I'm gonna do some um, going through this life type songs. 
This song was written by Guy Clark with uh, Jim Janoski and uh, Susanna Wallace Clark, uh, Guy's wife. <clears throat> and this song means a lot to me because when I was a kid, uh, I was the youngest of four boys and I'd be at home while my brothers were off to school and my mom would put a, a Superman cape, which was really just a bath towel around my neck with a little safety pin. And I got to be Superman. And then one time I was on the roof of our garage, I was probably about five years old, wearing a canvas sack that was a newspaper carrier's sack for the Columbus Dispatch, and my brothers were trying to lure me into jumping off the roof because it was a parachute. It would, it would, you know, catch me. Fortunately, my dad came out to find out what was going on, and I did not jump. But anyway, this is a song called The Cape. Eight years old with a flower sack cape tied all around his neck. He climbed up on the garage, figure what the heck. Screwed his courage up so tight the whole thing came unwound. He got a running start, bless his heart, headed for the ground. One of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your cape. He's all grown up with a flower sack cake tied all around his dreams. He's full of piss and vinegar, busting at the seams. He licked his finger and he checked the wind, it was gonna be do or die. He wasn't scared of nothing, boys, and pretty sure he could fly. One of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Spread your arms, hold your breath, and always trust your cape. Let's pick. He's old and gray with a flower sack cape tied all around his head. He's still jumping off the garage and will be till he's dead. All his life people said he's acting like a kid. He did not know he could not fly, so he did. He's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. He's one of those who knows that life is just a leap of faith. Spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. Spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. One more. Clark for that song. I'm going to do a, a, another cover song for you. Uh, a lot of times I won't do two covers in a row unless they're like the same artist, but uh, this is a, a song that's written by Todd Snyder, and I guess it's it's probably a song that's meant for just about any, uh, any musicians, especially touring and professional musicians that, that are in our my, my age bracket, you know, anybody over, say, uh, 55, 60 years old, going into the later years. <clears throat> and uh, I first learned this song a few years back, and I put it back in a, in a in the drawer, and I hadn't played it for a while. And this past week, I pulled it back out and decided I'd start playing again. Because it has a lot, as life is going on, it has a lot more meaning every year for me. So it goes just like this. Old timer, old timer, it's too late 
to die young now. Old timer, five and dimer, try and find a way to age like wine somehow. My new stuff is nothing like my old stuff was. Neither one is much when compared to the show, which will not be as good as some other one you saw. So help me, I know, I know, I know I am an old timer, old timer. It's too late to die young now. Old timer, five and dimer, trying to find a way to age like wine somehow. I met every fool that ever signed their name upon these walls in the back of all these beer joints and concert halls. I've been through seven managers, five labels, a thousand picks and patch cables, three vans, a band, a bunch of guitar stands, cans and cans and cans of beer, and bottles of booze and bags of pot and a thousand, a thousand other things I forgot. I thought that I'd be dead now, but I'm not. Old timer, old timer, it's too late to die young now. Old timer, five and dimer, trying to find a way to age like wine somehow. Just trying to find a way to age like wine somehow. Todd Snyder. He's got some really cool songs. Well, this next song, um, uh, I, I really, it, it really uh, touched my heart this past week. Um, this is a song that I woke up one morning. Uh, it was just a, a few days after John Prine had died. And anybody who, who knows me and my career, uh, I've said it so many times, the foundation of my career is built on John Prine. I first heard his music back in 1972 and immediately started learning songs off of his off of his albums and the the lion's share of my early set lists back in in the mid 70s were John Prine songs. And I have a list of I have a list of songwriters that are that are in my top tier songwriters, you know Nancy Griffith, the Chris, Chris Nancy Griffith and um Chris Christopherson and, and Rodney Crow and, and people like that. But uh, the very, very top of that whole heap is John Prine. And I woke up one morning about six o'clock with this entire song coming through my head. And after I finished it, I, I thought, this, there's something very familiar about this song. And I realized that, that the, as one of my fans, after they heard a, a video of it or, or saw a video of it on Facebook, he sent me a message and he said, that's the most prinish song of yours I've ever heard. And I took that as a very high compliment. And I shared it with the, the John Prine um, fan page on Facebook. And I said, you know, I, I don't want to in, infringe on anybody and, and force myself on anybody. But if people would like to hear this, I'll, I'll post it. And I posted it. And like within a day, I had two or 300 comments, just people saying the, the most wonderful things to me about the song and how much they enjoyed it. So I'm going to do it. Do it for you. It's, it's another one of those songs thinking about the end of my life in uh, kind of a tongue-in-cheek way, as, uh, as John had a way of doing with some of his songs that had to do with uh, what was going to happen as we get older and, and the end of this journey ends. The end of this journey comes, I should say. So this is called The Great Beyond. It's going to be on a new album as well. When I die, will you remember me? When I'm dead and gone, will you really miss me? When my last winter's come and gone, will you think of me flying to the great beyond? What will it be, my legacy? Will people say I was just okay? When my last winter's come and gone, will 
What do you think of me flying to the great beyond? Give my body, please, to folks trying to cure disease. Burn what's left of me and set my ashes free. When my last winter's come and gone, will you think of me flying to the great beyond? guitar at the end of an open bar sing only happy tunes we'll be together soon when my last winter's come and gone will you think of me flying to the great beyond yeah when my last winter's come and gone will you think of me flying to the great beyond that's me you'll see flying to the great beyond looking forward to hearing um I, I just got a message today from uh Michael Ronstadt uh, who plays cello and sings in, band, in my band, The Perfect Men. And uh, Michael is kind of acting as, as co-producer on this album because he's got the same kind of computer recording program that I do down in Cincinnati. And so I'm sending files to him of my stuff, the guitar and vocal stuff, and then he's adding cello parts. And then my good friend Bobby Fisher, who also happens to be Michael's father-in-law, uh, he's been going into the studio to do his stuff. Then we're going to get Peg... Buchanan, uh, the wonderful fiddle player I've been working with for the last 25 years. She's going to go in and throw some fiddle parts on. And then the, la the there are two other members of my band. Stan Ginn plays percussion. Uh, he's down in Cincinnati. And then my the, the guy who plays pedal steel guitar, banjo, and some electric lead guitars down in Nashville. So then we got to send the stuff down to him, Lance Martin. And I'm just, I'm so excited to hear back. Uh, what some of the what some of this is going to sound like? It's just it's I think it's going to be a really amazing album. I'm looking forward to it. My ninth my ninth album in my 45 year career. My ninth uh, solo album. Another song I'm going to put on this album. Uh, well, there's one song I I wrote called Native Bridge that uh, talks about uh, my family who came over from Ireland in in the 1800s, uh, but it, it also touches base on the immigrants who came from Ireland over to the United States to become U.S. citizens, and they landed in New York usually. <clears throat> and then from there, they would get on usually rail lines and start heading out west. And so many of them got, uh, got jobs on working for the railroad, laying the railroad tracks through Native American territory. So I was kind of looking at the fact that there were these... Um, Irish immigrants who were leaving their homeland because they were being forced out of their homeland because they couldn't be who they who they had always been, and and the irony of them uh, laying railroad tracks through Native American lands and basically forcing the Native Americans away from their way of life, and uh, that that song it, there's a little more to it uh, to try to do it solo with just a guitar. Um, I did I did throw it down a, a couple weeks ago when I did the entire album live with just me and my guitar, but I don't have the one guitar I need to play that. So uh, what I wanted to do is I, I wanted to do the other song that has to do with the Native American uh, way of life and uh, the way we've managed to screw them over. We, meaning all of us uh, who have come to this country over the years and the way they are still struggling to be who they have always been. And uh, it's called Deadwood, South Dakota. It was written by Eric Taylor. And I learned this from Nancy Griffith many years ago. And uh, it goes just like this. It's called 
Deadwood, South Dakota. Good times scratched a laugh from the lungs of the young man In a Deadwood saloon on a South Dakota afternoon And the old men by the door with their heads to their chest They told lies about whiskey on a woman's breast Some tell the story a young Mickey Free lost an eye to a buck deer in the Tongue River Valley. Some tell the story of California Joe. He sent word that the Black Hills, they was a mountain of gold. And the gold she lay cold in their pockets. And the sun, she sits down on the trees And they thank the Lord For the land that they live in Where the white man does as he pleases Some flat shoot fool from the east comes a-running with some news that he'd read in some St. Joseph paper. And there was drinks all around, cause the news he was telling was the one they call crazy. They'd been caught and been dealt with. And the Easterner, he reads the news from the paper, and the old men gather closer so as they can hear better. It says here the crazy horse was killed while he was trying to escape. It was sometime last September. They don't give the exact date. And the gold she lay cold in their pockets. And the sun she sits down on the trees. And they thank the Lord. Oh, the land that they live in Where the white man does as he pleases Where the white man does as he pleases Well, the top turned back to whiskey and women. Cold nights on the plains, Lord, and fighting them Indians. And the Easterner, he says he'll have one more before he goes. He throws a paper to the crow boy who sweeps up the floor. And the gold still lays cold in their pockets. The sun still sets down on the trees And they thank the Lord For the land that they live in Where the white man does as he pleases Where the white man does as he pleases Where the oil company does as it pleases As it wants to, as it pleases Good times scratch a laugh from the lungs of the young men In a Deadwood saloon on a South Dakota afternoon Eric Taylor, wonderful song. 
last two or three albums, I kept thinking, boy, I want to put that song on an album sometime. And now with uh, Native Bridge uh, getting done, I, I figure those two would go together on the album. And I appreciate y'all stopping in tonight, this evening. I wasn't sure this afternoon, the way that the storms came through here in Newark, Ohio, whether we'd have power tonight. So, so it's good to know we do. And uh, it's good to know that uh, being, uh, give you a little behind, behind the scenes with rock stars, you know. Um, after I'm done here, we have a drain backed up <laughs> over in the laundry room, which is adjacent to the studio here. And uh, my wife said, did you notice the sink downstairs? And I went down and I went, oops, that's not right. So um, get finished here, guess what I get to do? <laughs> this song, did it, this song I just finished it up this afternoon uh, doing my parts on, on the recording. And I wrote this for my granddaughter, Kaylee Brianna Leary. She's now Kaylee Brianna Leary Broughton. Uh, she's 21 years old, got married last year, and I wrote this song for her about two weeks after she was born, and it's, uh, it's another one of those songs that sat in, sat in a drawer for many years, and now I have eight grandkids, all of whom are, are beyond the lullaby stage of their life, but uh, still uh, watching them all grow up from wee babies up to... Uh, well, the youngest is now uh, five, I'm uh, sorry, yeah, five years old. So, um, the, but half of them are moving into adulthood, which is a scary thing. But anyway, this is a song I wrote for Kaylee, but it's really for all my grandkids and anybody who has an instrument and has grandkids, uh, please feel free to sing this to the, your grandkids because hopefully they will enjoy it. It's called a granddad's lullaby, but it could be a grandma's lullaby too. good a summer as you possibly can with what all what all we're all going through here um 
and I feel so bad, especially for little kids. Um, here in our neighborhood, uh, I, I guess because a bunch of these kids all went to school together right up the street here at a uh, Johnny Clem Elementary School, um, they all hang out together here during the summer, which is good. Um, except when you're you're their neighbor and you're up working in the studio all night and you want to sleep in till eleven or uh, eleven or twelve o'clock and and they're up in their outdoor pool at eight a.m. screaming at each other. <laughs> I never did that. No, no, not me. No. Hey, John Healy. the bowls and Mike Hughes Th those are the three names I could actually read from where I'm sitting I don't know why this song is called um, 48 Studebaker pickup truck and um, I wrote this for my dad's younger brother my uncle Bill when I was 12 years old I went down to Harrisburg Illinois and that summer, because I turned 12, it was my turn to learn how to drive Uncle Bill's pickup truck. Depending on what pickup truck he had that year, my older brothers got to do that as well when they turned 12. Many years later, my Uncle Bill was laying in a veterans hospital in St. Louis, Missouri, battling cancer, losing a losing battle with cancer, and my dad went to visit him. Uncle Bill was in a coma. But I had written this song and so I recorded it on a cassette tape and gave it to my dad and said, could you please play this for Uncle Bill? My dad said he held the tape player up to Uncle Bill's ear and he played this song for him and a tear formed, fell down out of his eye and across his cheek. 48 Studebaker pickup truck for my Uncle Bill. Somewhere in a junkyard in southern Illinois There's a 48 Studebaker pickup And the memory of two young boys It was summer of 69 I remember it to this day My uncle took a cousin and me On a getaway The roads are the same But the time is fading Those memories, they're still here with me all the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy and oh, all those times it means so much to me. My uncle got my cousin and me in the cab of that old truck. Took us out to the back roads to try our luck. Driving a grown-ups ain't no real big deal, but for two young boys driving such a thrill. Roads are the same, but the time is fading. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, old old times, it means so much to me. Now, first gear ground and wine, my uncle's face looked pain. I think he was saying a prayer under his breath. Which give out first, his clutch plate or his nerves? To this day, I think he's thinking that in his head. Roads are the same, but the time is fading. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois, I remember as a boy. You know, old old times mean so much to me. Friends and people like Uncle Bill I know I can travel it easily Roads are the same but the time is fading Those memories, they're still here with me 
All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy in old those times that mean so much to me. All the time in Illinois I remember as a boy in old those times that mean so much to me. Excuse me, I, I gotta move. There's this thing under my feet driving me nuts. Oh. It's my makeup bag. <laughs> it's kind of a weird dilemma because there are people who will actually send me messages and say, I want to see you picking, and, and I haven't figured out how to do that yet unless I stand and I don't know and all that. Steve Pratt. Hey, Steve. I, I'm sorry I didn't make it to your... Uh, to, to the mic night tonight. I am coming next Tuesday. Don't tell my wife. I, I have a uh, I have a, a dummy of myself, or am I the dummy? And I'm going to sit it down here in the studio and sneak out so I can get there over at the corner bar in uh, Pickerington, Ohio. It's a neat place. And Steve, Steve is, uh, I call him Guitar Dr. Steve because he's been working on my guitars for me since my... Uh, uh, Guitar tech down in Ryland Lakes, Kentucky, my guitar tech of almost oh, over 20 years, uh, has retired. And um, Steve's been uh, keeping the girls working. This is Sparky. And uh, over here is, where, uh, here. this is Loretta. I don't know if you can see her. And then there's Arlene. It's the old guild. And then there's these guys behind, these girls behind me. So anyway, you don't want to hear all that crap anyway. Um, I'm trying to think of what I was going to do. Oh, I know what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do a song that uh, somewhere out on the interweb, there is uh, a video of me doing this. Um, I, I was going down to Nashville and playing at the Bluebird Cafe uh, four or five times a year. And then for several years in a row, I, I wasn't able to make as many trips to Nashville as I had been. This year, I was all lined up to start getting down to Nashville on a regular basis. Then some strange thing came up that caused me to not be able to do that. Don't you want when that happens? But anyway, somewhere out on the interweb, there's a um, there's a video of me at the Bluebird Cafe playing this song that is off of the Best That I Can album. It has to do with uh, relationships, like waking up, uh, waking up on um, Monday morning back in back in college days, waking up on Monday morning and going. What the hell was I thinking this past weekend? So that's where this song came from. It's called You're Like Monday Morning. Long time ago is when I met you. That long time was so long ago. Long we stayed in that little world of ours Saw more of you than I ever wanted to know I woke one day and realized It hit me right between the eyes You're not my lifelong love You weren't sent to me from up above I your what happened after a lost weekend been you're like Monday morning You drank way too much whiskey Maybe I drank too much beer Loving booze can sure be risky Just sober you don't look so good from here I woke one day and realized It hit me right between the eyes you're not my lifelong love You weren't sent to me from up above I owe what happened after a lost weekend been You're like Monday morning Five tequila's my vacation Where I never get the blues It's taking me to my favorite destination Further and further away from you
Saturday night, you were so lovely. By Monday, my vision finally cleared. Now you're gone, I sit and ponder. The pleasure I get in you not being here. I woke one day and realized it hit me right between the eyes. You're not my lifelong love. You weren't sent to me from up above. I, you're what happened after a loss again, Ben. You're like Monday morning. Yeah, you're what happened after a loss again, Ben. You're like Monday morning. My fingers got ahead of ahead of my brain there for a minute. I'm seeing all these names showing up that I haven't seen for a while. It's so great to see everybody showing up, or see everybody's name showing up as I can see them. I, I, I'm in this weird position. I've, I've got uh, bifocals now, and if I, if I wear my bifocals while I'm playing my guitar, every once in a while I glance down and I see eight or twenty four strings, and and I get all confused. So, uh, plus, you know. I look sexier. <laughs> Kidding. I haven't seen if uh, if my good friend Alex Stadler's on. Um, this is a song that he always asks me to play. <clears throat> it's a retrospective song that's also the uh, title cut of the album that came out in 2017. Um, and it's, I, I guess it's become somewhat of a signature song. Um, I had a guy come up to me. It's really kind of kind of moving, kind of touching. Um, I forget where I was playing. Actually, it's some some state somewhere. And uh, this guy came up, and, and he was like wearing a Marines ball cap, and uh, I mean he looked like a really badass. And he was he was wiping his eyes, and he said he said, "Man, that song." He said that just really tore me up. He said it's a beautiful song, and he bought a CD, and um, haven't heard from him since. But but uh, it was just really touching that uh, someone else was able to uh, get something out of this song at the level that I got when I first wrote it and played it for myself. This is the title cut of As Long As We Get There. It goes just like this. Looking at a picture of a young man With a beer in one hand A smoke in the other Knowing that life would last forever Looking in the mirror there's an old man Clinging to a walker with one hand Copy of the good book by his side Knowing that forever had arrived Can we ever know Where life's gonna go Do we need to care As long as we get there Together well, the old man woke up one day Found he still had a lot to say Clutching his guitar in his hand Sleeping in cheap motels across the land He spent a lifetime playing guitar Probably spent a little too much time hanging in bars Hoping one day he'd have it made Now he figures he's just old and in the way Can we ever know Where life's gonna go Do we need to care As long as we get there Together the way 
wisdom that comes with age replaces youthfulness full of rage. Transgressions at once cause the mother's tears become regrets in later years. Now I'm looking at that young man in the photo. I'm telling myself he's someone I don't know. Looking in the mirror, what do I see? I realize that young man is me. Could I ever have known where this life of mine was gonna go? Did I need to care as long as we got here together? Looking at a picture of a young man With a beer in one hand A smoke in the other Knowing that life would last forever I knew that my life would last forever As we get there, I'm gonna do uh, probably about three more songs for you. If if you got here in the beginning and you, and you saw the on again, off again, on again, off again, uh, it's there was something really acting weird with my phone. Uh, the first time I turned it on, I didn't see if anybody was there or not. I realized my phone was still on airplane mode from uh, working in the studio today, and I thought. Nobody can see this. And then uh, when I turned it back on, everything was backwards, which I that I don't know how everybody else, that just drives me nuts. And I'm just glad I didn't have a t-shirt on with writing on it because then everything's backwards and you're trying to figure out what it says. Um, so the third time, third time or fourth time was a charm. And that's where we are now. So, so you are on One Take Tuesday, take four. I want to do a song for you that I wrote... Um, my, my best friend, biggest fan, and mentor, my brother Steve, uh, passed away this coming February. It'll be 20 years ago. And uh, this entire song came to me just a few days after he died. I was thinking back. Uh, he was a priest in the Catholic Diocese of Columbus, and he was in the intensive care unit. Um, cancer had riddled his body. And um, the whole family was around him, and my sister-in-law said, Steve, will you give us a blessing? And he proceeded to, to just grant upon us this wonderful, beautiful blessing. And I, I part of me kind of wishes that back 20 years ago, I, we had had one of those, one of these smartphones where you could record things because I, I don't remember everything that he said. All I remember is it was a very touching, moving thing. And I remembered the crux of what the meaning behind it was. So... <clears throat> I woke up one morning with this entire song just a few days after he passed away, this entire song going through my head, and I was sure that it was Steve coming to me and uh, giving me part of the lesson that he was trying to teach us that day right before he headed off to paradise. So this is called Stephen's Song. It's going to be on a new album.
Just around the bend Another dead end Or a new road for me to see Taking a lesson from my brother Enjoy life and all there is to see It's a greater good to share with each other And before he died he shared this with me How could I know where my life would go There were no signs in front of me Just around the bend Another dead end Or a new road for me to see could I know just where my life would go? There were no signs in front of me. But just around the bend, there is no dead end, but a new life waiting for me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the rest. Right as I got to this last verse, here in the studio, I, I think I have two or three little spiders that live around here somewhere. And last night I was I was over at the mixing desk, and all of a sudden I see this little black flash go in front of my uh, my computer. And as I picked up a piece of paper, there's this little black spider, and he ran down. And so just right at that last verse, I felt a, a web come down across my face. So it's either miniature Spider-Man or one of our little spiders that are coming out to see what the hell's going on. So, okay, I said I was going to two, three, two or three more songs for you. I guess uh, if Melody is on, I know she wants to hear this. And um, I'm sure Kathy Sheets is on here somewhere. If she is, she's going, I want that song, Dave. I, I see Steve's on there. Hi, Steve. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. John. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, so this is uh, this is the uh, the sleeper hit off the last album. She said, "I used to catch every eye, every single time that I walked by. People said I was a toast of the town. Now." Kids and a few years later, I don't think of myself such a hot tater. I could tell from what she said she was feeling down. And I said, ooh, baby, what you mean to me? Keep loving and hugging you till eternity. Let's know what I say and what I mean. I still pick you up in a New York minute. Chase your love, do anything to win it. I think you look so hot, even in mom jeans. Even in my jeans I'm walking down the aisle at the grocery store Gonna pick up some canned goods and it's out the door Gen X, mom's in tight jeans and low cut tees Every how they're smiling, how to do I think I need a break, what'll I do? And to clear all out, I find a even just for me And I say, ooh, baby, what you mean to me? Keep loving and hugging you till eternity Let's know what I say and what I mean I still pick you up in a New York minute Chase your love, do anything to win it I think you look so hot Even in mom jeans Even in mom jeans Beauty's in the eye of the beholder It don't matter if you're younger or you're older So I looked her in the eye and I told her some straight from the heart and straight from me. Hey! Eric Clapton.
Honey, you know you still catch my eye Every single time that you walk by I know something I just can't deny We raised our kids, it's a lot of years later To me, uh, honey, you're one hot tater Ain't no reason to be feeling all so down I keep saying, ooh, baby, what you mean to me? Keep loving and hugging you till eternity Let's know what I say and what I mean I still pick you up in a New York minute Chase your love to win, then I win it I think you look so hot, even in mom jeans Even in mom jeans How about some black jeans? Or white jeans? Chartreuse jeans? Or even striped jeans? How I love them mom jeans, oh yeah There you go. And there, wait, wait. Ow. Oh, man. Okay, now I have one spider down here. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Boris the spider. If you've ever heard that, uh, ever heard that Who song, Boris the spider. It's a really great video of that. Boris the spider. Um, I was trying to decide what to finish you out here, with here. Um, do I have any, anybody have a suggestion? No, I don't see anybody. Okay. How about, how about either Sunday morning train or um, um, married to a bottle? I don't know. You guys tell me. I'll give you 10 seconds. No? They both start in the key of E, so. Um, you know what? I'm going to make, make an executive decision. Here, here's why. Um, I'm really excited. I, I've got both of the girls, Loretta and... Sorry about that. Loretta and Sparky both have uh, new sound systems in them. And it's called, uh, for technical, it, it's the ES system, ES1A system from Taylor Guitars. And um, and um, I, I don't think I've, I've done a, a One Take Tuesday since I had this these systems put in and it, it's just it's wonderful both of the both of the systems had finally kind of crapped out uh thanks to uh between tsh and speeding the guitars around when i when i'd fly in or uh, uh various baggage handlers or people loading out when we got to gigs um so taylor was kind enough to send two new systems for for me to have put in the guitar and they they insisted that we have a Taylor specialist and there's a neat little guitar shop here in Heath, Ohio, which is about 15, 20 minutes from me called guitar guys, wonderful guitar shop. And I went in and I was talking to the owner, Brandon, and he said, well, my only guy, uh, quit and he, he's moving to Columbus. So he quit 30 minutes away. But anyway, uh, so I called Taylor and I said, well, you know, their guy, their guy quit. The guy at Taylor Guitars out in El Cajon called Guitar Guys and said, you got to have that guy come back because these systems have to be put in by that guitar tech. So just for me, they brought this guy back out of retirement. I don't know. And he's like 28 years old, so it's not like... But, but he had... He had, at one point in time, he had been flown out to El Cajon to learn specifically how to put these systems in. So, so needless to say, when the girls got back with the new systems in them, I was just, I was just over the moon. It, it was like brand new guitars. So, it was like, um, I don't know, I, I can't, I don't know how else to describe it. So, anyway, that's what I want to do for you. I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm going to do uh, Sunday morning train. And the next time I'll do whatever somebody else is. I already did that one, Melody. I did as long. Oh, that's right. You had technical problems. I'm sorry. I will do that one again. As long as we get there, I'll do that next time. Um, and this uh, this Saturday, I'm going to tell you in a minute about this. But this Saturday, I will be in Heath, Ohio at uh, Sand Hollow Winery from 5 to 7 p.m. So uh, come on out. Wonderful wine down by the lake if it's not raining. If it's raining, it's under cover and like a big patio. Sunday morning train, folks. Here it is.
lay the pot of the man who gave up trying and left home and left home. You play the part of the woman who gave up trying and left home and left home. Well, it was Sunday morning when the train left down. All I do is sit and I drown all of my sorrow. Another whiskey down, another whiskey down. That you love me with all your heart Till the day you die, till the day you die I believe the words you told me From the start, all a lie, just a lie Well, it was Sunday morning when the train left down All I do is sit and I drown All of my sorrow Know the whiskey down, know the whiskey down. Here we go. Your side of the bed this morning. Was cold as stone. I was all alone, all alone. Now I know that your love for me is all gone, dead and gone, dead and gone. Well, it was Sunday morning when the train left town. All I do is sit and I drown all of my sorrow. Another whiskey down. Another whiskey down Another whiskey down Another whiskey down Another whiskey down Now we're all done Thank you! Alright, folks, thanks for coming out. Well, thanks for sitting there and coming into my phone and my studio. It's so great to, to have everybody showing up uh, when they show up, when you don't show up, I miss you. And uh, just to let you know what's going on, I'm, I'm actually doing a private party this Friday in Baltimore, Ohio. And uh, then, of course, uh, Saturday, if you're in the central Ohio area, it is uh, San Hollow Winery. And it's out uh, on San Hollow Road, oddly enough, out, outside of Heath. And... Uh, Come on out there. It's five to seven, but uh, I think last time I went out there and played out there, I was I was really there till like eight, uh, because folks really were really digging the music. Um, so please please continue to to look at the the website, and uh, if you missed any of this, if you go to DaveHawkins.com, there's a link where you can go to YouTube. There you go. Somebody was calling me, and it was one of those. We want to take care of your credit card for you. Um, so anyway, anyway um, so Saturday night I'll be at San Hollow. Uh, please check out the website, DaveHawkins.com. Tell your friends to check out the website. And again, thanks to all the folks on the, uh, on the John Prine, the Facebook John Prine fan page who uh, talked me into to, uh, sharing the great beyond uh, with all of them and the hundreds of people who have who have contacted me saying they really like that song and the people who who really I was humbled when when the one person said that that was the priniest priniest song of mine that he's ever heard so for me it was just like wow uh, and this is um this is John up here as a matter of fact back in the mid 70s when I first heard of him so uh I've got his his picture up here a couple places in the studio. Anyway, thank you all so much. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. If you're in one of the zones that, that you're been, you've been asked to wear a mask, please wear a mask not only for yourself, but for the people around you. Um, I have family members who are immune compromised, and um, 
you know, when I'm out playing, I, I don't wear a mask while I'm playing, but I try to wear my mask whenever I'm done playing and walking around talking to folks. And uh, it's just, it's it's not political. It's just the right thing to do. You know, it's that that's it. It's like stopping at a stop light or a stop sign. You know, you, you just don't want to run somebody else over who has, who, who's going on the same road, right? That's my soapbox for the day. Don't get me started. Okay, so we'll see you soon. Uh, I'll, I'll do another guinea pig session maybe here in a few days when uh, when I take a break from recording. Okay, and keep in touch and uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Love yourselves, love each other, love the earth. This is Dave right here, and I will be back soon. Okay, love y'all. Peace out.